Welcome back to the Zenoa Naturals page where we aim to have healthy hair and we do that through applying consistency for results. Now, as we count down to the hair journey, which begins on May 1st, we are excited. If you have not joined the group just yet, check out this video, send me a message on Instagram and get on board. We only have a few weeks to get everything together. We are excited. We are ready to go. You might be wondering why am I on your screen looking all crazy with this random hair sticking out. <laughs> But what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be using one of my products, the leave-in smoothie, and I'm going to be showing you the spray and seal process that we'll be doing on the hair journey. I'm also going to be showing you how great glycerin in water is for your water-based spray. Now, I know my bottle looks crooked. My child decided to sit on it, so it still sprays, so hey, I'm going to use it. All right, so our little friend right here. I washed my hair I think a week ago and I have done absolutely nothing to it since well until I twisted these just now but I decided to just do this last one on camera and just show you how I finger detangle I'm actually gonna be using the comb today as well just to show you how the glycerin really really does help detangle your hair all right my hair now I've, I'm sure I've said it a few times very thick Tangles very, very easily, usually very hard to deal with. So let's get started. Now, spray and seal it literally means what it says. You spray your hair with something water-based. You apply a leave-in conditioner, and then you seal with a sealant oil. And what that does is it keeps the moisture in longer and prevents your hair from getting dry very, very quickly. Now, you can see what this looks like. Very matted, dry, absolutely no product in here right now. So I'm gonna start by just spraying on my glycerin and water mix. Now this mixture, I mean, you can play around with the ratio. It also depends on where you live meaning if you're in a cold country or if you're in the tropics. Um, when I was in Jamaica, my ratio was not this concentrated. I used to do like maybe a tablespoon of glycerin in a whole two cups of water, and that was good for me, or maybe two a tablespoon per cup of water. But now, since I've been here, I noticed that that was not cutting it. So I have upped the concentration. So this bottle has a one-to-one -one ratio. So if there's one cup of, it sounds like a lot, right? But it works for me here and that's what I need to do. If there's one cup of water in here, there's one cup of glycerin as well. Yeah, it, it really does sound like a lot. I'm not telling you to do that though. I'm telling you to play around with it. So start off with maybe one cup of water to two tablespoons of glycerin and just see how that works for you. And then you can up it from there. The glycerin can't be too much because you can actually use glycerin directly on your hair. Um, when I say it can't be too much, it, I'm not saying that to say everybody's hair will really react to it the same way because it's important to listen to your hair. What I'm saying is you can play around with the mixture without wondering or worrying if you're going to be causing damage by using too much glycerin. And we're talking about plant-based glycerin here. So I'm spraying it on my hair and I don't know if you can see, but I mean right away I can start pulling my finger through it without any kind of difficulty or without much, I mean, there's still some little knots, but when finger detangling, what I do is I try to keep the hair taut, so keep it as straight as I can. So I don't just do this and just pull the hair apart because then you're gonna end up with tangles on, on the lower level. It's important for me to keep the, fin the hair between my fingers, and if the other hand isn't occupied detangling as well, I use it to hold the ends of the hair. So for example, I'm pulling my fingers through now, but I have my hand down here, keeping the hair straight to prevent it from tangling. So while I'm doing all this, I'm keeping the hair straight. You might come up on a section where you do need both hands. So I'll put that aside because this is where the problem is right now. And I'll take my time, still have the hair between these two fingers here as much as possible, and then just pull through. So I love finger detangling. I don't use a comb very often. 
Right now, I think I'm at maybe once a month I use the comb, but I finger detangle first just the same to make sure that I'm treating my hair with the least, the least strain and stress as possible. So you are probably seeing that the glycerin, maybe you're not seeing it, but the I have low porosity hair. So the water, some of it is literally just sitting on the hair. It takes a while to really get in there. And that's where the hair steamer comes in. So basically what you're doing with the steamer is opening up the cuticles on the hair to allow the moisture to go in, to allow your product to really get in and get in deep. So this is a facial steamer, guys, but it can be used for the hair. So that's what we're going to be doing. So as it comes up, what it does is it encourages the cuticles on the hair to open up and be receptive of what you're trying to do what you're trying to give it and for especially for people with low porosity here who are living in a very cold country like myself the steamer is a lifesaver so let's put that out of the way a little so i'm going to be using the Zenoa naturals leave-in smoothie aka leave-in conditioner this is what it looks like the consistency is really really nice it's like butter and this leave-in conditioner has aloe vera juice it has glycerin it has cocoa butter olive oil castor oil, grapeseed oil and it's infused with the Zenoa Naturals herbal blend all my products are infused with a special combination of herbs so now that we've sprayed the water and glycerin under here I'm just gonna be applying some leave-in Now I'm making sure that the oldest parts of my hair get more of the pearl because that's the part that's most fragile and that's the ends, like halfway all the way down. I'm also ensuring to be very gentle, not in a rush. If you treat your hair very harshly, you're gonna end up giving yourself split ends because you're gonna literally be snapping the hair off breaking off your hair damaging your hair so just take your time detangle pass your fingers through while holding on to the end of the hair or put the hair between the fingers so look i have these fingers inserting into the hair and then i have these two holding the body of the hair so it's kind of keeping it in place and keeping it stretched out while the fingers pass through and detangle so this little thing right here at the end it's pretty easy to just open the fingers and just rip it out but that's not healthy so we're not gonna do that so as you can see I have put just a very small amount of the leave-in in my hair and I don't even need a lot but just look just look at how easy it is with the glycerin water spray and the leave-in to pass my fingers through the hair very easy I'm not getting a lot of resistance and the hair also feels very moisturized just making sure that the steam is getting on it while I'm doing the do and also the hair that's coming out it's long strands so you know it's not breakage and it looks like a lot I know but my hair it sheds a lot and to me it, it really doesn't even make any difference it doesn't matter how much hair i see coming out once it's long strands i know we're good so now i'm just going to be using a very small amount of my sealant oil which is a mixture of sweet almond oil and grapeseed oil so this is me literally just sealing the moisture in the hair now still using the steamer just rubbing the oil over the hair Steamer is a life changer, a game changer, guys. I 
and if you feel like you need to spray a little more on it you can go right ahead even though you have already applied um, your leave-in and your oil just for the manageability you can still spray a little more of your glycerin water spray on the hair so now i'm just gonna use my wide tooth comb to finish up the detangling now look at that guys look how easy the comb passes through and you know we start and end and work our way up but just look how easily the comb passes through the hair you can see it is fully detangled no hassle and while putting it through if i'm getting a little resistance like that i don't apply a whole lot of force if i if i if i am pulling the comb and it's really not moving i stop and i use the fingers like right now there's something right here stop and just use my finger to get it out there it is all the way out and that knot is gone so this is basically the spray and seal process not going to make this video longer than it needs to be you spray with a water-based um, spray, which in our case is water and glycerin, plant-based glycerin. You apply your Zeno and Naturals leave-in smoothie, and then you seal with an oil. And that's it, that's spray and seal. And when I do this, I do not need to do it again um, for the next maybe four, four to five days. And that is, that's spectacular for someone with my type of hair. Because before I started making my own products, I had to moisturize my hair every day, literally every morning. And by the next morning, <laughs> it would need to be moisturized again. All right, so we are fully detangled. See the hair, the hair that's coming out is very long strands, so we know it's not breakage. It's just dead hair coming out. So now that that's done, the hair is fully detangled, the hair is moist, no more water sitting on the hair. I don't know if you can see it. So the steamer has really opened up the cuticles and helped not just the water and the glycerin, but the leave-in to just go all the way in. So now I'm just gonna twist it. I know I'm probably sitting on your camera looking like the snake lady in that movie. I don't remember the movie or the lady's name. But listen, with natural hair, we gotta do what we gotta do. And this is my go-to, go-to um, style to prevent me from having to comb the hair often and not to put too much strain on the hair. I'm just always in big twists unless I really feel like getting fancy. So that's it for this video. We have done the spray and seal using the Zeno Naturals leave-in conditioner. You can get that on my website, which will be linked below. Remember to sign up for the hair journey. It's free to sign up. All you need to do is follow me on my Instagram page, Zeno Naturals. Send me a message on Instagram saying, hey, I wanna be on the hair journey. And I'll send you the link to join the group where you can find information. And I don't know, I am really, really excited about this hair journey because we're going to be doing some new things. Look out for my next video where I'm going to be demonstrating the juicing technique that we're going to do. I mean, there's nothing fancy about it, but I'm going to be doing a demonstration anyway. So that's it. That is how I do my go-to granny twists, big twists, do the plaits. People have so many things that they call them, but my protective style, my go-to protective style, and I put it in a pineapple or I just let it down, whatever it is, I just try to fix it so I don't look too crazy. <laughs> but that's it guys, that's the spray and seal. And look at the difference, what you saw earlier, look at this now, it's moist, it's so flexible. Look at that, very, very moist, no dryness around here. Zenoa Naturals, Glycerin, and my steamer to the rescue. Get yours. All right, so we're going to wrap this video up as we count down for the Zenoa Naturals Hair Journey 2022. See you in the next video. Bye.